Hi everyone, it's Lisa here. I'm back today with a video for you that's a little bit different to my normal videos. About four or five months ago I did a video about my favourite dyes and it seemed to be really popular. Quite a few people asked me if I would do one with stamps and whilst I haven't had a chance to do that yet. I did think it might be nice to share with you some of the go-to items that I have for my Christmas crafting. So I'm going to jump straight in. I don't want the, I think this video will probably end up being a little bit longer than I hope because I am going to share some card examples with you as I go through. And I think what it's what's important to remember here is it's not necessarily favourite in a sense that I've used a lot of these stamp sets a lot of times. Sometimes I've included them just because I may have only used them once or twice, but I've really enjoyed using that set and I think it might be something that I go on to use a lot in the future. So I decided to include those as well. So let's jump straight in and I'm going to start off with stamps and I'm going to start off with my kind of scene building stamp sets that I really reach for at Christmas. So to start off with I'm going to just show you the Simon Says Stamp Winter Scene stamp set. A lot of the items I'm going to show you aren't even this year's stamp sets but this one is and this was from their fun and festive release and you can see by the staining on the stamps that I really have used this set a lot. So I'll just, I think it's a really lovely set actually, it's got some beautiful images and this little kind of frame that you can put all your images in to create your scene, it's got some really lovely sentiments. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit I think to show you that better. It's got a banner of, not a banner, a string of lights, it's got the snow banks, mountains, house, so on and so forth and I I was lucky enough to get this a few months ago and I've created loads of cards with it this year and so I'm just going to show you some of the cards I made. For this one I used it in its traditional frame format and I created my little snow scene with the kind of chalet house mountains and I did a paste background, snowy background um, for it to kind of sit on top of. Here was another one that I did, again, I've used it in a slightly different way here and I've done several of these. I did a circle aperture and I actually just used the snowbank part of the frame and I extended it outwards to fill my circle window and then I created my little scene within that. I really, really love this. Um, <laughs> I love this scene really, it fits in both the rectangular format and of course in the circle aperture as well. So that was one I did in that format. I did another one with um, a different background. Again I've got the falling snow, a similar sentiment and actually a similar scene. I just didn't include the lights on this one. And again I've got another one where I used it in its circle frame or in my circle frame but just the snow banks. Again another similar layout but I put the sentiment up here and I changed the uh, colour of the sky but again I did the pasted snowfall background for that. So as you can see I've already done four cards with that and there are a couple more but they're already packaged up ready to go out. And then next up I've got the Clearly Besotted Seen It uh, stamp set. Now I've used this so many times, I use it all year round actually, but I do use it a lot on my Christmas cards as well. It has the uh, tree background, you've got a water background there, I've got a mask over mine so it's not easy to see. You've got the mountain backdrop and the... Um, the cityscape backdrop as well and I do have coordinating dies for this and they do actually do one that um, has the same stamps but they fit horizontally across an A2 card. These sit vertically, oh, oh, sorry, these sit so that they are vertical on a card and I'll just grab some cards where I've used that set. 
Well, I've just got a couple here to show you. I've used it here and just created a little scene with um, the Dashing Deer from My Favourite Things, which is another one of my sets coming up later. And I've used the trees again on this card that I did recently with the Clearly Besotted Merry Christmas set. So, I mean, you can use the mountains at Christmas. I, I did a few cards with that last year, and I've even done one with the city sk uh, skyline as well before. So that's just a couple of examples from this scene it set. But as I say, this is a year-round set, but I do really love it for Christmas as well. Then I've got the W Plus 9 Holiday Houses, and I don't have an example to show... Um, show you of this and I have actually only used it um, a couple of times. I used it on a new home card and I have used it on a Christmas card once before but I absolutely loved it when it came out. I loved it so much that I actually bought the coordinating dies which is quite rare so I know that I'm going to use this more in the future. I still hope to make a few cards with it this year. I just haven't had a chance to, to do that yet, but I love the way you can create your little street scene with the different um, trees and the snowballs and of course the different variety of houses. So I think that's a fabulous set. And this one here is Lawn Fawn Winter in the Park. And this is a really old set. I don't know, I think this could possibly four, five, six years old. They still sell it. I'm guessing it's because it sells well. It's a very simple set. The park bench with the um, with the lamp posts and you've got the little snowflakes, the greeting, and then you've got the snow that just sits on the back of that. And you can just create some beautiful, tranquil scenes with this set. I haven't done one this year, but I have used it many times in the past. And I believe it was so popular, they did actually bring out the die set a couple of years ago to go along with that. And then just moving on to a couple of my favourite floral sets. I don't have examples of these. Um, I have packaged some of my cards up for this year and I haven't used this, year, this one this year. But again, I used it a lot last year and I'd like to try and get a couple more cards with it this year. It's the Simon Says Stamp Winter Flowers set. It's got the most beautiful Ponsettia. I've got several Ponsettia sets, but this is by far my favourite because it has the berries. I just love the trails of leaves and the stitching detail is also really nice on there. So that's one of my favourites and it's really lovely to colour. And then this one is the W Plus 9 Christmas Rose Bouquet. Again, another beautiful floral set. One of these sets where, that you can just stamp onto your panel and go with it. You just need to colour it. You don't need to do any fussy masking or anything like that. And it's just a joy to colour. Again, no example for this one. I do have the dies for that. Again, that was how much I liked that when I bought it. So... Again, I'm hoping to get get some more use out of that, certainly this year and maybe next year as well. And then just moving on to a couple of my favourite snowflake stamp sets. I don't have many, but I have used this one quite a lot. This is a Simon Says Stamp Lots of Snowflakes. I created a few cards with it in a video that I did recently that I will link in the description below. And I used it in a sort of watercolour stamping technique with some embossing powder. And I made some really clean and simple cards with that. So they're both quite similar. They've just got different sentiments and I've put some stickles around the edge of that one. But it's a really beautiful uh, snowflake set. Lots of different varieties of snowflakes and different sizes as well. So... Um, that's another another one of my favourites. And then lastly, I've only included one background stamp. I don't, it's the only background stamp I actually have that's specifically for Christmas. This is the Hero Arts hand-drawn snowflakes bold prints and I have made loads of cards with this most of which I don't have to show you, but I do have one. It's just a beautiful um 
beautiful background stamp it looks fabulous inked uh, watercolored heat embossed and you know you name it you can you can do all sorts with it this was a card that I created actually about a year ago and I ha I did it after I'd sent my cards out last year so I still have it ready for it to be sent out this year just such a pretty background and I watercolored over the top of that but that has been my um my my most used snowflake stamp set so i really really recommend that pretty sure you, in fact i'm sure you can get hold of everything that i'm going to show you today but that is um one that i bought slightly on a whim but one that i've never ever regretted so it was a great buy so i'm going to move on now to look at some of the critter stamp sets um, that i've really enjoyed playing with so the first set that I wanted to share with you, this is the My Favourite Things Ready Set Snow set. It's only just come out. It's uh, the newest Birdie Brown set from My, My Favourite Things. And I created this card with it that I did recently as a guest designer over on their Sketch Challenge blog. And I absolutely had a ball making this card. I think it might be my favourite Christmas card of this year. Um, so many fun, playful images to create a scene with. I'm just going to move out slightly there so that you can see that better. But you've got the three snowboarding bunny uh, the the bunny the bear and the penguin and then other little images that you can use to create your scene the hat the swirls you've got the the um snow spray and of course uh, as as always my favorite things have a plethora of um, great sentiments to go along with those images so i really really loved making this card it is just such a fun set and I think it was my favourite from their November release. And I used my Snow Drifts cover die, which I'll talk about a bit later um, on another one of my most used uh, products at Christmas. So that was the first card and set that I had to share with you. The next one's another of my favourite things. This is called Dashing Deer. This is from last year and I absolutely loved this when it came out last year. I think it's got that great mix of being cute but not overly cute and I got the dies to go with it. Again, that's how much I love this set and I have, I used it on many cards last year and I still have a couple um, that I've made since. Um, this is one of them. I showed you this earlier with the uh, trees from Clearly Besotted, but those two are from this set and uh, they just look really lovely set on a snowy backdrop. And I also did another one here where this is a memory box die um, that I don't use very often, but I just had some spare images and I pulled this card together. Um, it's difficult to see, but there's some snowflake in the background as well, some sparkly snowflake. But they're just really gorgeous images and I'm sure I'm going to continue to use that set over the years. Moving on now to the next one. This is the Mama Elephant. These are all my favourite deer some well mostly my favorite deer stamp sets that i'm showing you now and i have a few but i do really love them all um this is you can still get hold of this it's not it's not it's about four or five years old i think maybe four years old i used it a lot a few years ago i've used i used it last year haven't used it this year but still one of my favorite sets you can see i've used the sentiments a lot and you've got these lovely birch trees ornaments and these gorgeous deer that just look fabulous silhouetted against a uh, background and i did get the dies for those as well and then this one is the Avery L Kitsch Christmas. I fell in love with this set when it came out. This is, I think, a couple of years ago. Perhaps it was last year, not sure. Um, I've created several cards with that. Here's the one that I've still got that I'll be sending out this year. It's just such a beautiful um, size image to colour. And um, I've always really, really enjoyed using it. I do use both the images together on several cards, but you can see it just looks lovely silhouetted against um, 
a really nice distressing backdrop so that's one of one of my most favorite deer sets now moving on to penguins i seem to enjoy penguins quite a lot as well penguins deers and um i think are definitely my favorite over christmas and there were several penguin sets bought out this year but i was also still using some from last year um, this is the Simon Says Stamp Arctic Christmas. Um, it's a look, I mean, look how well used that stamp set is. I bought this a few years ago and I have done so many cards with it. Watercolored, Copic, uh, Zig colors. Uh, the only thing I probably haven't done is pencil color it, but it's one of these stamp and go um, sets that I just love because you can't, you know, you don't need to do any masking or anything. And that's one card that I have left that I've got to send out that I haven't sent out yet. Um, just a really lovely, fun, cute little scene and just great to colour. You can just stamp a bunch of these up and colour away to your heart's content. So I really love that. That's Arctic Christmas from Simon Says Stamp. Then I've got the latest, or oh, the, the first set that Stacey Yakula designed for My Favourite Things. This was actually about six weeks ago. Um, she's now going to be designing for them on a monthly basis. And um, I was fortunate enough to be sent this set and I absolutely loved um, her designs. I've not ever bought them before because you've always had to buy them from the US, but now you can get these over in the UK it makes it a lot easier to um, to pick up those those sets from Stacy so this is called sweet holiday penguins again lovely lovely images in um, if you know Stacy Akula you'll recognize her illustrations immediately they're just cute one with a little wreath one with a candy cane one that looks like he's kind of dancing with the hat on and one balancing some presents on his head and of course you've got the little one there popping out of the box so I made a couple of cards um, with this set uh, again I've used my snowdrifts uh, backdrop on both of them they're fairly similar in style I've just done different backgrounds and slightly different layouts and used different images but they are quite similar and I use the sentiments that came from the set as well. So I think this was really, really popular when it came out. Um, it was quite difficult to get hold of when it arrived here because it was really popular. So one of my favourite sets definitely from this year. And then I've also got this penguin set. This is called Snow Special. It only came out a couple of weeks ago. And, um, you know, you wonder why you need... <laughs> many penguin sets but you know they all have their differences and and of course this is absolutely adorable it's got the little igloo as well this is for a, a my favorite things set and it's got the little penguin fishing through the ice there and i don't have that in any other set and um, this one's skating in fact they're all on skates actually so you can create a really lovely little scene with this um I love that little igloo as well, a little fish as well. So it's just adorable with with fantastic sentiments. And I do have a card coming up um, in the next few weeks with this set, but I can't share it yet. So I think this is one that I'm going to reach for often. And then lastly, <laughs> the penguins. This is the Mama Elephant Arctic Penguins set. Again, this has been out for a few years now, uh, probably three years and I've made absolutely loads of cards with this. I still continue to make them this year. I did get the dies to go with it, although they're not particularly complicated to cut out. You know, they're quite small and easy. You really don't need the dies, but I did actually um, decide to get them for this set. And I made this card this year with a snowfall backdrop, and I've just cr cut some snow banks here and... Um, pop them up and, and just put my penguins in a little kind of snowy scene. Um, I just think they're adorable. They're, 
I, I really like the whale version of this um, sort of set that Mama Elephant did as well. So I think they're just so easy because you mostly just have to stamp the image and maybe just add a little bit of colour onto the skates or their bellies. But really, really fun set and I've, I love using it and I still am using it this year. And another one that I've done with it actually that has a big uh, Merry Christmas sentiment just with some ink smooshing. I've just popped him up there with a present and this is actually a zipper card so there is a message underneath there when you pull that tab back. So he's also made it onto this card as well. And then I've got a couple here from uh, Flora and Fauna that do some absolutely beautiful sets. I do only own two of their sets and they're both Christmas. I don't have a sample of this to share with you. I made a few last year and um, they I don't have those anymore. But this is so pretty. It's got the little birds and the holly branch and the mistletoe. It's just a gorgeous set to... Um, to create with really and um, I want to try and use this again this year um, to make what maybe one more card with it this year but you know time is always hard to find isn't it but it's one of my favorite sets from the last few years I really would like to use it again this year so so pretty to just create a lovely little scene with those uh, birds and then I got this uh, set this is the other flora and fauna one called arctic starry night I got this last year and I didn't get a chance to use it until this year another beautiful they're, they're very sort of simple in style but you can just create um, really cute little clean and simple scenes I've seen some amazing cards with this set and I don't obviously you don't want to copy what other people have done so I've created this year a batch of really clean and simple little cards from this set so I used the snow uh, the snowfall from it the little bear on the ice and then the sentiment which is up there so very very clean and simple I've done about four or five of these cards and just pop them up and put them on some red card stock but they're just really pretty and I just I I absolutely love this set. in fact I love lots of their sets and I'm sure I'll get more in the future but I really want to make sure that I use um, more of the images in this because there's a little iceberg and the trees and that beautiful sort of um, galaxy of stars that you can put in the sky and the, the sentiments. It's just a really lovely set. So I'm so happy I did get to use that this year. And then I've got three other um, critter sets that I wanted to show you. They're all from Clearly Besotted. And I just think they are, I mean, they, they always produce so many cute uh, critter sets, but these were three of my favourites this year. I've got the Hippo Christmas, which I'll just turn that round so you can see it a little bit better. You've got the Hippo with the Santa sack, you've got one with a present, and you've got one opening a present there. And I do have another card coming up in a few weeks using this set, but I can't share it yet. But I did create a little shaker with it recently. So I've used the one with the, um, the hippo carrying the present, added some trees in. There's a snow bank behind and actually there's some snowfall, but it's quite difficult to see that on camera. And a little round shaker card. Um, he's just such a cute, um, a cute hippo and just really lovely with that little hat. So that's been one of my favourites. Uh, the other set that I wanted to share with you is the Christmas, the Merry Christmas set um, from Clearly Besotted. Again, three little images and a little trailer of lights. They're just absolutely adorable. I've made several cards with this set this year. I love the one with the lights hanging on his, um, oh, sorry, the baubles on his um, antlers. And then you've got one that's just standing there, another one with some lights that are, that's intertwined. But it's very difficult to see because I have used this a lot, but um, the lights are kind of intertwined between his antlers there. And that was my card example. I did this a few months ago for the release of the set. And again, I used the uh, 
the tree backdrop for that and I just had one of them trailing the little trailer of lights on there so really really adorable mousse set and then lastly from Clearly Besotted I wanted to share with you the um, Christmas uh, this is the Merry Mouse set and I'm just going to pull off my masks so you can see it a little bit better um, Again, this came out a few months ago and it was one of my favourite sets. You've got the, the little mouse um, with the stocking there. You've got a tray, a, a plate of cookies, a separate cookie that's been eaten. The cheese as well. You've got one carrying a bauble and one carrying a, uh, holding a cane. And I just think it's a beautiful set. It's cute, but it's just simply perfect for... Christmas and this was the card that I created with this set so I used the tree from a different clearly besotted set and I just masked off my images and created that little scene with it but I think it's a really beautiful set and being able to show you the card examples really helps bring it to life I think it it's hard to sort of envisage when you just see the stamp set but that's how it I made it look on a card and that was one of my favourite cards this year so um, again I think that's a set that I'm going to reach for often. So I just wanted to share two other sets with you um, for the stamps uh, before I go on to my sentiment stamps and these are both from Stamping Bella. I don't have any cards to share with you but I just think if you're a colourist and you just want to stamp an image, colour it and put it onto a card base, you really can't beat these images. I got these last year and I used them several times and I do um, plan on using these again this year. I do have some panels stamped up, I just haven't had a chance to uh, colour them in yet. But both of them are really gorgeous. Um, little stamp um, snow fight going on there and then you've got the snowman love set there so they're beautiful as well I'm going to move on now to my sentiment sets and I'll try and make this as quick as possible for you I don't have loads for you but there are several that I reach for often so moving on quickly to the sentiment stamp sets the first one that I've got to show you is the mama elephant puffy holiday greetings um, absolutely adorable set uh, again this came out last year I think I really really love them I love the kind of style and the fact that you can stamp them um, they look really nice stamped in red or light blue that those sorts of colors but I mean obviously you can stamp it in black as well and I do have an example for you but I've used this one quite a lot I wasn't sure when I got it quite how much I'd use it but I have used it several times and I think they're great sentiments you can really use them on so many cards dashing through the snow you're always on the nice list that sort of thing fabulous set something a little bit different as well haven't seen too many like that out there and I used one of the sentiments on this card that I showed you earlier just stamped it in black here but as I say it looks really nice if you do it in red or purple or light blue or something like that and you can actually just fill a whole card with those sentiments stamped in different colours light grey as well I saw somebody do that last year and I thought it looked fabulous so that was the first set a second set that I have used so many times, I don't have an example for you, it's the Mama Elephant, Jing Mama Elephant Jingle Greetings. My stamps have been used so often they've actually lost their tackiness and they fall down to the bottom of this packet, that's how much I've used this set. I just love the font on this, I love the sort of scripty, delicate font with the uh, more blocky font underneath and you've got some ornaments and things included with a string that you can use as well so I mostly just use it for the sentiments I just think they're there it's a really good go-to set and as I say I have used it lots of times on lots of cards so absolutely love that one the my favorite things snow globe sentiments again i think this is a really good basic sentiment set for christmas it's got a very um kind of neutral font so very good for all types of cards 
I've got several here that I've used it on. I've actually got four cards and um, you've seen a few of them earlier, but I used it on this set here or this card here. This is the Be Merry. Um, as I say, you saw this card earlier, but really thought that it sits nicely on the front panel there. This is a card that I made uh, last year. This is a Simon Says stamp die, actually, that you can no longer get, but I turned it into a Christmas card and I added the snow globe sentiment in there as well. I just thought that that sat really nicely across that panel. And then I used it on these two cards as well. I've got used the Let It Snow and the Merry Christmas on these two that you saw earlier. So as you can see, I've used it a lot. I will continue to use it a lot. I think it's a fabulous set. Not expensive either as it's small. So really, really like that one. I've got the Simon Says Stamp Merry Christmas. Don't have an example for you for this, but this is just a lovely set. Uh, sorry lovely size stamp that you can actually just stamp and watercolor around this or um, emboss resist around it it's just a, a great size for a square card and also for a rectangular card I really love the the um, font on it as well so I've used that one a lot but just don't have one that I can show you and then the Clearly Besotted Tiny Type, this is actually an all year round set and um, a, one of my most used stamp sets, certainly for my, my sentiments. And it's got two Christmas ones in here, it's got the Happy Holidays and it's also got Merry Christmas there. And as I say, it's got all year round sentiments, but I used, I have used these two on several cards this year. So that is also a great set because it, it I mean, it must have 40, 40 odd sentiments, I guess, on it that you can mix and match. Really good neutral font, very good size. And so I really, really love this set. As I say, I've used a couple of those on cards this year. And then lastly, I've got the, uh, clearly besotted Christmas calligraphy. This came out a few months ago. I think this is a wonderful set. Um, I've used this sentiment most of all out of this set. I have used the Noel as well. But again, it's got a, a great mix of sentiments that you can mix and match. You've got the um, the Merry Christmas, which is the one that I have um, with a card example for you. I've just stamped that in the sky, really. Again, a fantastic size for a panel and it just looks really beautiful stamped or it heat embossed. It's just a really beautiful font. Not quite as thin as the Simon Says stamp one, a bit thicker um, in style, but I thought it was a really, really pretty one and one that I know I'm going to use often. So that brings me to the end of my stamp set. So I'm going to move on quickly now to dies and then I'll finish with stencils and some embellishments as well. But I'll try and make it as quick as I can. So what I discovered when I was looking through my dies was that I actually don't use um, dies a lot. Certainly I don't use sentiment dies a lot on Christmas cards but I thought I'll just share the few that I do use quite a lot with you so this is the My Favourite Things Joy Die um, this was about £3.50 or something here in the UK so really good price point for a die um, absolutely beautiful font I really really love this um, used it on several cards I'm going to show you here I've got one here where I actually cut a shadow for it. It doesn't come with a shadow die, but I just um, adhered it onto some black cardstock and I cut the shadow for it. So really, really um, nice size and font. And I've also used it on this card here just to go across the top left corner there. Um, again, one of my most reached for sentiment dies. I've also got one from Simon Says Stamp. This is the Joya Noel one and I don't have an example to show with you and it's quite difficult for you to, it might be a bit easier if I do that. You can see how thin and delicate it is but I've used this one a lot. Don't have an example for you this year but really really love that font and um, 
I think it's absolutely a gorgeous die. So I have used that one on cards quite a lot in the past. Winnie and Walter, this is the Noel cutaway die. I think that's what they call their dies. Um, this is, I've, I've got similar ones called Hello and I think I've got a Thanks one as well. I really like the style of these dies. And I've got a card here that I did with this. It's quite hard to see. I'll lift it up a little bit. But I've done the inlaid die cutting technique with it. So um, I've cut it out of my... Um, panel that I created using some snowflake stamps and some water colouring and I've just popped it up with foam underneath but it's I think you can see it if I hold it up there so a really really lovely die um, obviously it's quite subtle in that card but I always like their dies I think they're also a really good price point and um, so that's one of my most used but that's just the only card example I have for you today the Simon Says Stamp Jingle Snowflakes die really really pretty die I haven't got a card for you but it looks just stunning um, put over an ink blended background with a sentiment underneath you really don't need much more than that it's so delicate so pretty and um, I've really it came out a couple of years ago I think and I really really loved that die and I still continue to use that and then one of the um, dies that came out in the last release for my favourite things was the Snowflake Window die. Only out a couple of weeks ago, a uh, really, really beautiful uh, window die. I've seen loads of fabulous examples of cards with it. I decided to make a shaker with tulle. I did a um, class recently um, and Jennifer Maguire showed us how to use to do a kind of tool window in your card quite hard to see here but instead of the usual acetate um, I've got that different material but I thought it would look really pretty uh, with the snowflake window you can see I've used the joy again there as well and so um, I created that with the snowflake window die but I only have I only had that a couple of weeks and I know I'm going to be using that more because it's just such an easy die to use and you can pop a, like an alcohol ink background behind it. Um, you can do a rainbow background behind it. There's just lots of ways that you can use that and make it look really pretty. So um, it's a fabulous die and uh, definitely worth investing in. And then I've also got the My Favourite Things Let It Snowflake too. Don't own many snowflake dies. Um, I've only had these a few months, but I've used them several times this year. And I think I'm going to be using these a lot in the future. I've used them on this card that I showed you earlier. You can see the sizes there. There is, um, there is another one. There's a set of three. The other one that I've not showed you on this card is this one here. Um, again they're just really really pretty and also very good price points so would highly recommend that if you're looking for um, you know a reasonably priced snowflake uh, die set lovely 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 set the uh, Simon Says Stamp Village dies I actually showed these in my other video um, they're an all year round die but they do look beautiful at Christmas because if you just cut these in white cardstock and you create a background for it they are just so stunning again not particularly expensive I use this on so many cards but that I do use them quite a lot at Christmas as well so really love that um, that set of dies I've got, I've only included these because they are just, I suppose, my most used border die of the season. My favourite things, stitched snowdrifts. Um, you just can't go wrong with them. I put so many snow banks on my cards and these are my, I think this is my only set of um, snowdrift dies. I mean, you can use hillside dies as well. They're pretty much the same thing. But love this set. Um, you can see, look how tatty my sleeve is, how often I reach for those. So they were a great investment. And then my My Favourite Thing Snowdrifts cover-up die. Um, I've used this 
you've already seen it on several cards I've got two cards here which you've seen um, earlier where I've used it I use it all year round just to create an interesting backdrop I used it also on this uh, set here this card here that I did recently so you can see it gets really really well used um, cover dies are not cheap so uh, they are an investment so you need to make sure that you pick ones that you're going to use time and time again and that's definitely one for me and then I'm just going to finish with two miscellaneous dies um, these are sort of really for gift cards and I haven't got any examples to show you but this is the my favorite things gift card grooves die set and basically it just cuts the grooves in the cardstock for you to either tuck your uh, card in sideways or slip it in through a slot. There's two sizes so it could go vertically or horizontally in the card. Similarly with, with this, that it cuts the grooves. It's just a really useful set of dies to have. Um, I haven't got an example to show you but I do really like that set because I do send quite a lot of gift cards over. Christmas and then lastly this is the Mama Elephant Venice envelope again this is actually not widely available it's been out for several years and um, you can still get it but I think you have to get it directly from my favorite things but it cuts a beautiful little envelope perfect size for a gift card or even if you were going to put an, a small item in like even and you have the different parts to the um to the die set you can sort of create cut a different size flap with it it has um, another frame that you can cut that kind of cuts a panel that can sit on the front so you can mix and match your mix and match your card stocks to create different looks with it it's got a banner die um, and it's also got some words as well you've got the hello uh, Die and that one also says for I think that says for you that one as well really really useful set and you can pop the little for you on the back so I have used this one quite a lot um, I have a few that I actually have sitting waiting to be used with different um, colored card stocks and things they're just really handy to have actually all year round but I tend to use it more at Christmas so that's that set and I'm just going to move on quickly now to stencils. So moving quickly on to the stencils, um, by far my most used uh, stencil of the holiday season is my Snowfall stencil. In fact I have three that I'm going to share with you and they're all slightly different and I do have examples um, for all of them but I'll just jump straight in. The first one is the Simon Says Stamp Falling Snow Stencil. I put it against some red cardstock so you can see it better. Um, I've used this, you've seen many of the card examples already. This one, I've used it on this one as well, uh, on this one and this one too. So that's just four from this year. That's not even including all the ones that I've made. I do often paste through my stencils. I don't tend to ink through them as much as paste. So um, I absolutely love this one. Uh, it's definitely my go-to, but I do have a couple of others to share with you that are slightly different. The next one is the clearly besotted, uh, I think it's called Snow Day. Yes, it's called Snow Day. They've only just released this uh, stencil and I do have a card coming up next week that I'm going to be sharing where I've used that. I did use it in this shaker, but it's really hard to see um, on camera. I have a, a sort of sparkly snowfall backdrop right behind the, the sequence so it is difficult to see but I have used it in there as well. Again it's sort of more of a snow flurry as opposed to um, the kind of gradiated snowfall so it just depends on what look that you you want on your card but these are very very reasonable they're only a few pounds you can get them from the clearly besotted shop in the UK you can't get them over at Simon Says Stamp but you can pick them up in the UK so I think this is one that I'm going to reach for often it has only been out for about six weeks so but really lovely stencil and definitely looks like a flurry 
flurry um, of snowfall so loved using that this is the heffy doodle um, this is called first snow um, I really like this stencil it's a little bit different to the others because it also contains the snow banks as well so you can use that to create snow banks on your card and I've got a couple of examples here for you very difficult to see here because I've done such a light background but I've got a light blue background that I stenciled above the snow bank behind the penguin and the tree here and I've used the um, snowfall part of it with some glimmer paste for my background but really really um, like this stencil it is I don't know if there's another one out there that does exactly that with the snowfall and the banks as well so you've got two sizes um, that you can use or two sort of different formulations of the snow bank that you can use and I used it in this card as well but I just used it to cut snow banks so rather than using it as a stencil I just traced the outline and I just cut it from white cardstock to create my snow banks in this shaker card so I've got two there and that's another way that you can kind of extend the use of this stencil and the next one that I've got to show you, this is from Simon Says Stamp and it's the uh, Holiday Tree Medallion uh, stencil, one of the more um, intricate stencils that they produce. I got this last year, I think it came out just before Christmas last year. Really, really pretty. Um, I have used it on a card here. I've just inked and used some um, sparkly spray and things for this card and added a greeting on the bottom it's just so pretty I've made four or five cards with this stencil so far and I know that I'm going to continue to use it um, really really love that stencil and that brings me to the last one and I've left it in the packet for now but this is again by Simon Says Stamp and it's called Christmas scene and you can create as you would expect a little Christmas scene from it so I'll just move out slightly there uh, it's got the the snow banks and the Christmas uh, you know all different types of fir trees so you can use it to um, ink blend kind of within the within these sections here or you can actually take them out so it kind of has a dual purpose you can lay these down on your cardstock and kind of ink above it as well so you can create all kind of snowbank shapes with it as you can see there that so they're the two pieces that come out of there and you've got all the different um, trees as well I've got a couple that are still left in my folder so I don't I haven't lost any but it means that you can use it in two different ways so you can use either the positive or the negative part of the stencil to create um, your snow scene and I did actually a mass production using this set last year about 10 cards I think I did using different embossing powders and things I thought it was a really really pretty uh, stencil and of course useful if you can use it in two different ways so that brings me to the end of my stencils and I'm just going to move on quickly now to other items and they're just really about embellishing your cards so just to finish off these are some of the things that I reach for to embellish my cards so these provide the finishing touches to a card my most used products um, some paste embossing powders that kind of things it's all sort of all things sparkly really that really you do use year round but you really grab for them at Christmas so I'm going to start off by just showing you the this is the Nouveau Glimmer Paste. This is in the Moonstone colour, I think. Yes, it is Moonstone. I've used this on lots of cards, some of which you've seen already. And I'll whisk through all the cards at the end, I think, because otherwise that will slow it down. Fabulous. It's a really good size pot. I think I've used six or seven cards I've done used it on six or seven cards and I am nowhere near finishing um, this pot so you get absolutely loads of paste in it I'm sure you'd get 20 odd cards out of this 
um, really good value and gives a fantastic sparkle and is very quick to dry as well so that's another advantage. I've also got a Cosmic Shimmer, um, this is called Frosty Dawn Sparkle, it's quite similar to the Nouveau Glimmer Paste but it's not quite as iridescent it has a bit more of a subtle sparkle to it but I've used this on several cards again really good size pot a little goes a long way absolutely love using that and then my embossing paste that I use a lot for my snowfall is the Dreamweaver white embossing paste I have um, another pot of this ready <laughs> to be used I've I you know I use this on so many cards as you've seen so um, there are other pastes out there this is just the one that I happen to have um, and use it's quite easy to get here in the UK you can also get it over in the US and international as well so it's a really good one to have and moving on to um, my embossing powders um, the gold that I use in the holiday season is the Hero Arts uh, Gold Embossing Powder. I don't often use silver, but if I do, I use the Hero Arts Silver one. Um, it's, you know, they're just they're just plain. They don't have any sparkle or anything. They're just really good basic gold and silver embossing powders. And I also really love the liquid platinum. I don't think I've got a card example where I've used it though. I use it all year round but it's a mix in between a silver and a gold and it's beautiful and um, I do use that one quite often as well. I've got a couple from WOW that I absolutely love. This one is the Totally Teal. Um, it's just got such a pretty sparkle to it as you can see. Um, I do a little swatch for the top of my pots. So it's an embossing glitter. Um, a really, really lovely colour. They've got so many of these glitter powders, but that's one of my favourites. It's just a gorgeous blue for Christmas. And I also use this white, white puff twinkle um, quite often. Again, it's another embossing glitter and I use it quite often on the edge of a panel just to give something, um, just to add a little bit of detail really to a card. Perfect Pearls. This is from Ranger. This is the actual uh, Perfect Pearl colour and I use these a lot to flick um, splatters onto my cards. Uh, that it's just again it's actually an all year round but you do tend to reach for these things more at Christmas so this goes on a lot on my backgrounds um, often with um, I use white gouache to create sort of you know a kind of white snowfall background sometimes as well and I often mix in some perfect pearls um, splattered on those backgrounds as well so that's a really good uh, basic product to have in your armory. I've got three sparkle brushes. I don't know which one I like me uh, best. The Wink of Stella I don't use as much anymore. That came out as you know a few years ago. It's a little bit more of a, it has a bit more of a colour to it. It's not completely clear although you don't, you don't often see the colour on a card. It's a fantastic sparkly brush. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. I've just picked up others this year more than I've picked up this one but it does have a sort of slightly champagne-y look to it. You've got the Tonic Nouveau Aqua Shimmer, that's the one I've grabbed for a lot this year. Really really sparkly um, and pretty, got it on loads of cards and difficult to see on camera but really um, adds a lot of sparkle in real life. And then this is the Spectrum uh, Noir clear sparkle brush which I was using a lot last year and I have used this year it I just gen I normally just pick up what's to hand to be honest because there's not a huge amount of difference between them but um, the only one that I would say is slightly different is the wink of Stella and the last two things or three things that I wanted to show you is I've got these two little um, pots of st or bottles of stickles one is the Stardust and one is the Christmas Red. I actually pull these out and I leave these on my desk over Christmas. Absolutely love using them. I often add these to the top of snowbanks or to the, um, the Stardust one 
to the top of snow banks or I use it around the edge of a panel. The Christmas red stickles is just perfect for Rudolph's nose, really good for baubles, also really good for berries. So that's a great one to have and these are only a couple of pounds each. And last but not least, um, I'm going to just show you the red and white twine that I reach for. Now, I do use a lawn form one actually, but I've run out so I haven't got it here to show you, but it's very, very similar to this one that I also have. I don't know the brand of this. I'm going to link to everything um, over on my blog and as much as possible in the YouTube description. So if you are wanting to go looking for anything, I will have links for you, but I don't know the brand of this, so I won't be able to link to this one specifically, but I will link to the lawn form one really um, useful basic product to have in the holiday season because red and white is just it just sings Christmas so that brings me to the end of my products this video is way longer than I thought it was going to be I think it's because I share the cards with you um, but it is nice to see the things in action so I'm just going to finish quickly and see if I can show you any of the products here I've used the stickles and the um, sparkle all over this card. I, I don't think I'm going to be able to capture it in the light here. It's not good enough light today. I've used the Stardust stickles on the snow bank there. Um, I've used the glimmer paste for the background in this card. There is just loads of sparkle on the snowboards, the trees and their hats on this card. And again, I've used the stickles to go around the edge of this card here. So that's just a few quick examples of how I've used the embellishments. There's, there's loads more, but we'd be even longer. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that it's useful. I'm sorry that it's been a long video for you. Um, but if you haven't finished your Christmas cards and you're looking for maybe a little bit more inspiration, hopefully that will help you. But as I say, thanks for bearing with me and um, watching. Everything will be listed over on my blog. And a lot of these cards are actually over on my blog. Not all of them, but many of them are if you want to read a bit more about them. So I will be back soon with another project for you. And thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.